Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building a real estate website and application as short of time as possible. I'm going to time it and we're going to get straight in and see what we can come up with in the shortest amount of time possible. So first I'm going to throw into my new application, uh, my template here, a website's called Harper Realty. And I've just got this template here that I used to fill out um, with the help of AI. And it just gives us a complete overview, branding, uh, purpose, target audience, layout and structure, you name it. Everything to do with the application is condensed in here. And we're going to feed this to the Replit AI agent, and we're going to see what we can come up with. We'll see how we can go. I'll be clipping through this video so you don't have to keep watching the, uh, the loading, but hopefully we can get this done within the next five to 10 minutes. And now a disclaimer, in this video, we're going to be including a map box map uh, in our real estate application. So if you want to build something like this, you need to make sure you've got a map box account and you've generated a token inside of here and you'll be using that later uh, inside the application. So we've got our first prompt in, we've got our first sort of answer and we're just going to check what sort of extra fields that we want to be adding in here. So I like the idea of an advanced search. Let's do advanced CMS feature. Don't really need web hooks right now. Real-time property updates, probably not a huge thing. And we'll do we'll do a database integration, why not? And here we are, beautiful layout by Replit. I love the monochrome style in their dark mode, uh, especially with the purple. And we're gonna see how this goes. So as you can see, we're starting to generate a lot of code. It looks like we're doing a uh, React TypeScript, um, probably with a TypeScript backend as well, I'm imagining. And all of this is gonna be condensed inside Replit. And then once we've built this application and we're happy with it, we can then deploy it. We can even add our own domain name if we wanted to and can completely manage this um, entirely inside of Replit. And of course, I have a pay plan with Replit, so I have a certain amount of um, usage uh, with the agent here, but it's likely that deploying this entire app will take between one, uh, one to two dollars, maybe not even that. So pretty amazing feature and pretty insane that for something so cheap, we can develop something so fast and so well thought out. Whilst we're waiting for all of that to generate, I'm gonna come back here and just give a brief uh, overview of how I get to this point and I have filled out this template. So I'll start off essentially with a style guide and I'll, I'll go and look at different websites, different designs, get uh, maybe multiple different images or just one of websites that I like. And then I have a style template that I center uh, ChatGPT accompanied with an image and it will extract the theme and sort of the style of the website and I can edit it and change it if I want. And then using that style, uh, that style guide and also a brief description of the website and its requirements, I can then get this entire blueprint filled out, which we can then give to our AI to just generate the entire application for us. One thing I love about the Replit AI agent is all these different checkpoints that you can roll back to. There's been many times when I'm building something or I'm trying to test out something and we go down sort of the wrong path. It's really easy to just roll back to, to an earlier position and then just continue on with there with some ex, um, explicit extra instructions of what not to do or how to avoid that sort of mistake that you went down. So it's a really user-friendly and intuitive way to build an application really, really quickly. Now you can see it's prompting for my Mapbox token. Um, so I've just gone ahead and pasted it in there. We can do uh, continue. You also have um, the ability to add things to your account secrets. So if you're uh, making a lot of apps or trialing a lot of things, you can just have a bunch of secrets in your account, which you can reference your tokens, whether or not it's OpenAI tokens, Mapbox, you name it. Uh, you can store all of them so you don't have to keep re-entering them uh, during an app building process. Sometimes uh, you can get this sort of loader stuck here and it says paused, the agent is waiting for your response. I just say, please continue. Um, make sure to say please, because if you don't, uh, when ChatGPT and Claude AI become sentient, it will probably hunt you down. So now let's have a look. So it's a pretty good start. This is the first prompt, the first result. Uh, we can just open up our staging by uh, clicking this and then um, just clicking this here or you can copy and paste it in your um, URL. I like to uh, preview it actually in the page. This is just fine, but you know, we wanna get a good view of it. Needs a bit of padding, you know, it needs a bit more, um, you know, design sort of features, but you can see we've got a homepage. We've got a listing, the map's already there. The map's been added in. 
Uh, we've got some different filters that we can run. Obviously, there's no properties yet. We've got to meet the team. Amazing. Uh, we've got some images that probably are quite large, so that's why they're taking a long time to load. Um, if we come to the services, amazing. We've got just some cool icons, a nice grid layout. Obviously, everything's slightly off center, so that's something we'll need to mention to the uh, AI. We've got some frequently asked questions and you know, a form submission, so a contact form. Uh, let's see, we can also sign in. So, okay, this is quite cool. Just move my, myself out of the way there. Uh, let's just go Mickey. Uh, and we can see there's a small error, but not the end of the world. That's pretty common um, in your first sort of run through. So we're just going to exit out of that. Right, so I just give it some really clear, really concise uh, instructions. I'll paste in any errors that I get. I'll reference that error with paste one, and then just give it itemized jobs to do. First, fix the error in paste one. Second, add padding to each page to the sides. Third, add four real estate listings. And I forgot, center the content correctly on the page. So run with that second prompt in. We're looking pretty good for the first prompt and a few minutes in, we've already got a fully working website or just about. Now, second run through, uh, you can see the images are taking ages to load. That's partially to blame for my absolutely atrocious Wi-Fi. Uh, and also because it's likely these images were just pulled off the internet by our AI. Our AI so they're likely quite large and have just been shrunk down. So they're not very optimal. But as far as we're looking right now, we've got um, a nice CTA. We can replace this with an image if we wanted to. We've got some um, really cool layout cards. I haven't tell, you know, told the AI how to style it perfectly or given it a lot of instructions, but we've got a short description, you know, bedrooms, bathrooms, square feet, a nice minimalistic layout. Um, if we jump over to the listings page, you can see Perfect, so we've got um, some icons on the map. If we click on the icon, uh, we've got our mortgage calculator. We've got um, an individual map of where it's located, a uh, little um, description. Let's see, so we've got our property um, price. If we adjust this, we can see, look, that's pretty awesome. Being able to see how our monthly payment's gonna be um, and our interest rate. Imagine having an interest rate of 2%, that would be pretty cool. Um, Let's go back to meet the team again. Oh, images are loading a little bit more quickly now. Uh, services. So all of these have just been sent up. They look a lot better now. We've got a form submission. Oh, can't even spell my own name. Look at that. We've already got, we've even got our logout button. You know, we can create an account. Um, we can explore listings. This is really awesome. And so far, you know, we're looking just over 10 minutes. Most of the time, I haven't been doing anything. Uh, let's see, we've got a total of, if you if you don't include filling in uh, this Mapbox token, we've got about three prompts here, which is insane to, to how far we've gotten. One thing we do want, and this is sort of a user experience thing, is we don't want to be taken to the page of the property when we click on the icon. Uh, we want to be, um, staying in here and we wanted to see a pop-up uh, all right now we're doing one more prompt this is going to be my final prompt we're going to see how far we can get and all we are doing is we're asking for a pop-up on the map to be styled similar to the card layout secondly we only want uh, to be able to sorry we want to be able to reset um, the filters on the listings page so that uh, if we do something silly we can reset that and then thirdly, we're going to add a page where we can upload listings. Now this is going to be pretty uh, pretty cool if it can get it on the first try. Um, I'm not actually sure if it's set up the database yet, uh, but if it has, this should be a um, really cool feature where we can just completely start uploading listings to this page uh, straight away and see them in the website. And we are back. That modern luxury villa looks awesome. Uh, let's explore our listing. So now, look at that. We've got a pop-up. Uh, the styling is a little bit funny, but I know exactly why that is. And when you're using that box and you have pop-ups, there is sort of a default styling uh, to this, I believe. 
Yeah, as you can see, we've got some padding in here that we don't really need. So yeah, if we just delete that, that looks a lot better. Um, that's obviously what we want it to look like. I usually also remove the pop-up tip. It doesn't look that great to me uh, personally. We'd also want to add an X here, but um, currently that's looking really good for the sort of the first try. Uh, now let's go and view details again. Yep, everything looks good. We still have the pop-up, very nice. We've got a reset button, that looks really nice. So let's see, we've got three bar uh, beds here, three baths, so, or oh, three plus. Okay, so our filters don't work. That's not ideal. Let's reset that. Let's try one plus. Okay, not ideal, not ideal. But that's probably one prompt, <laughs> one prompt away from being fixed. I was super impressed with four prompts, how far we can get. And in the amount of time it's taken, it's been just over 20 minutes. Most of the time has just been sitting here waiting. Um, if you were to take out the wait times in between and you were to be doing sort of work or planning in between all of this, you could have this website running up within the day, fully fleshed out. Now, if you wanted to publish this, you can click deploy. Um, you can choose uh, sort of how, um, how many machines, how many CPUs that are gonna be used to uh, run the site. That is sort of, um, depends on uh, how much traffic you're, ex you're expecting. You know, if you're building a big application, maybe you don't want to deploy it, um, deploy it here. Maybe you want to connect it to your, um, your GitHub uh, through the tools, and then you can just use this for version control and deploy to your GitHub or somewhere else. Um, but in most cases, um, especially for small websites, Replit deploying here will be just fine. Uh, you can scale and change, and if you approve this and then later down the line you need to extend, then just um, unlist it and then redeploy with um, a different amount of machine power. It's really simple. Inside the agent uh, area, you can see this has cost us a whopping 75 cents, so quite a lot of money. If you're looking to build something like this using AI for yourself, for your team, feel free to reach out. If you want to get my template, make sure to visit the description link below. Uh, you can get it for free. And I'd love to see you guys in the next video. Cheers.